Hello, in this video we will talk about what is Web 3.0 and why it matters. Consider a new sort of internet that not only properly translates what you enter, but also understands what you say, whether through text, speech, or other media, and in which the material you consume is more personalized to you than ever before. We have reached the tipping point of a new stage in the evolution of the web. Some early adopters refer to it as Web 3.0. There are a few early stage online 3.0 apps that exist now, but their real potential cannot be seen until the new internet is completely incorporated into web infrastructure. But what exactly is Web 3.0, how will it look, and how will it affect our lives? The concept of Web 3.0 may be broadened as follows. Data would be networked in a decentralized manner, which would be a significant improvement over our present generation of the internet, which is Web 2.0, where data is largely held in centralized repositories. Users and machines will also be able to engage with data, However, in order for this to happen, programs must comprehend information theoretically as well as contextually. With this in mind, the semantic web and artificial intelligence are the two pillars of Web 3.0. Blockchain, cryptocurrency, and Web 3.0. We may expect a strong convergence and symbiotic interaction between these three technologies and other disciplines. Since Web 3.0 networks will run through decentralized protocols, the building blocks of blockchain and cryptocurrency technology. They will be interoperable, seamlessly integrated, automated through smart contracts, and use to power everything from microtransactions in Africa, to censorship-resistant P2P data file storage, and sharing with applications like Filecoin, as well as completely changing the way every company conducts and operates their business. The present crop of DeFi protocols is only the top of the iceberg. So now let's talk about Web 3.0 applications. The capacity to absorb enormous amounts of information and convert it into factual knowledge and meaningful actions for users is a frequent requirement for a Web 3.0 application. However, these applications are still in their early phases, which means they have a lot of opportunity for growth and are far away from how Web 3.0 apps may possibly work. Amazon, Apple, and Google are among the corporations developing or transitioning items into Internet 3.0 apps. Siri and Wolfram Alpha are two applications that make use of Web 3.0 features. What are our closing thoughts? The new internet will offer a more personalized and tailored surfing experience, a smarter and more human-like search helper, and other decentralized benefits that are intended to contribute to the creation of a more egalitarian web. This will be accomplished by enabling each individual user to become a sovereign over their data, and by providing a richer overall experience, as a result of the plethora of innovations that will be implemented once it is in place. When Web 3.0 hits as difficult as it is to imagine given how smart gadgets have already impacted our behavioral patterns, the internet will become exponentially more embedded in our daily lives. Almost all of today's normally offline machines, from home appliances like ovens, vacuums, and refrigerators to all modes of transportation, will become part of the Internet of Things economy, interacting with its autonomous servers and decentralized applications, advancing new digital realms like blockchain and digital assets, to power a host of new tech miracles, for the 21st century.